Hi, and welcome to the 10th section of the ProtoPy course. I hope you're enjoying your time. My name is Meng, I'm from Design Plus Code. Today we're going to learn how to chain animations based on a drag trigger. So when you drag, you can see that I'm chaining the animation and I'm adding a 3D rotate on multiple layers. And also when I touch down, then I also do a scale animation and back with the touch up. So this design was made for a web landing page and this is the portion I wanted to animate this and show the engineer how this is supposed to be animated when the user interact with this component. So I prepared the sketch file for you, it's called 10.chain and then you can just go to Protopy, create a new document, create a new document and then we're going to change to the iPad. So iPad 768 by 1024. And here I'm going to zoom out a little bit so we can see. And I'm going to import from Sketch a 2x for the iPad. And there you go. So we have three cards. And then we're going to select the first card and create a drag and set a simple move. So all this is going to do is to be able to drag that like this. I can restrict this to horizontal so I can just drag left and right. And now we're going to learn how to create chain. So using the first card, I'm going to add a trigger called chain. So what chain is going to do is to detect a property of a layer and then use that property to set a range of values to apply to the animation. So let me show you. I'm going to add 3D Rotate and then here it's going to ask me what is the range of values that I have here. And I'm going to set from 0 to 768 which is the size of my artboard. So 0 to 768 and that is for the positioning of my card one as I drag across the screen and then I'm gonna use that range and it's going to be translated into values for my 3d rotate angle and in this case I'm gonna set from minus 30 so at zero position it's at angle minus 30 and when I'm at the maximum position so 768, it's going to get to an angle of 30. So now, when I drag to the left, you can see that it's affecting the angle. But what I'm noticing is that it's kind of skewed towards the left. So what I need to do here is to go to card 1 and set the origin to the very middle, like this. And if I do that, then you can see that it does this really nice 3D effect. It's amazing how little effort that you have to put in Protopy in order to create these amazing effects. So I'm going to do the same thing to the other two cards. I'm going to select them, set the origin to the middle, and then copy the 3D rotate for them as well. So here I'm going to set for card 2. Make sure to select the container and then for card 3 as well. So now it should be applying to all of them at the same time. All that's left is to be able to move them as well when I'm dragging. So I'm gonna have to add a new response called move and this is for card 3 but I can start with card 2. And so in the same way I'm gonna set the X position from 0 to 768. For the Y I can just delete it because I'm not gonna change that but for the X I can start with 0 and 768 just to show you how it's gonna look like but you can see that it follows exactly the first card and what I need to do is to add a bit of offset so instead of 0 in term of offset I'm gonna set 68 and then therefore the end value is going to be minus 68 so 700 now I have some really nice offset. 
I'm going to do the same for the third card. So selecting the third card, I'm going to set move from 0 to 768. And then remove the Y, set this one to 68, multiply by 2. And then 768 minus 68, and then minus 68 again. Now I have a really nice offset for both, which allows me to create this really neat 3D perspective effect. Now all that's left is to add a little bit of touch response. So I'm gonna select the first card and put touch down. So while I'm dragging, and I'm gonna set a scale to a factor to 90%. And I'm gonna do the same for the other ones as well. So copy and paste this two times and then change this to card two, then to card three. When I do that, you can see that when I tap, then it shrinks all at the same time. But I wanna add a little bit more fun. So I'm going to add a spring animation and a little bit of delay. So shift right arrow and then shift right arrow twice. So when I click here, it does a little bit of a delay and I just need to reset my animation when I release. So I'm going to add another trigger for card one and this time it's going to be touch up. I'm going to copy and paste the scale like this and set it back to 100%. And that's it. So now when you tap, it creates this really nice feedback and it applies the same when you are dragging and doing that 3D effect. So as you can see, chain is really powerful and you can really utilize the changes in values of a certain property and then affect a certain animation as a result using a range. So that's what I have for you today. In the next session, we're going to learn all about formula and detect, and we're going to dig deeper into those things. So I look forward to see you in the next session.